So iOS 18 has given us the capability of basically passcode locking our applications whichever way we want to. So it's a very basic thing. If you want to go ahead and learn how to do this, first things first, you will have to be on iOS 18. Now, right now it's in a beta, but if you're watching this a year from now, six months from now, even like three months from now, you should have this beta or this official version hopefully soon. So I'd recommend going through and updating to the official version when it eventually comes out. So if you have that capability, I would recommend doing that. So do that, go through, update your particular you know, device on iOS 18, and make sure you have some sort of Touch ID, passcode lock, something like that on your particular iPhone. So in order for this to work, you will have to have some sort of passcode lock. So go into your passcode lock settings, which is just under face ID and passcode lock, type in your particular face ID or passcode or whatever, and then make sure just this page comes up. That's kind of the big thing you want to do. Now, whether you're, whatever device you're on, it doesn't really matter. What you want to do next is you want to go and make your way over into your particular application that you want to go ahead and passcode lock. So there are lots and lots of different applications that are basically available. So you can kind of choose whatever particular application you want you to basically passcode lock in this particular situation. So like I said, there's a lot of them available. So in this case, let's say I wanted to do Freeform. Well, what I can do is I can hold down on this Freeform application like this, and there's going to be an option right here that says require face ID. So all I have to do, and it really is this basic, all I have to do is go and hold down on this or just click on the require face ID button and watch what happens. It's going to now basically, if I click on require face ID again, it's going to basically ask for my either face ID or it's going to ask for my passcode. And I can go and enter my passcode or my face ID. And you can see that really is all I'm going to have to do. So now if I go through, I can go and click on Freeform. And you can see it actually requires Face ID in order for me to actually open up this particular application. So how cool is that? So now I can just click on these, you know, if I can just tap in the passcode, it's going to basically, you know, you know, allow me to go into it. Or if I show my face, then it will go ahead and do that same thing as well. So it's a super cool thing. It's not super difficult, but that's basically how it's done. It's a very, very basic process. And if you want to, you know, quit out of Face ID on it, you can click here. You can click don't require Face ID and it's going to ask for face ID, it's going to ask for my passcode, either one. So yeah, I guess it's going to ask for face ID. You can see it's going to remove the face ID, so now I can open the app whichever way I want to. So that's basically how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, soldier.